All right, what is up, everybody? Azario here, and welcome to another ADS Play channel update for the week of October 15th going into October 21st. And this is the beginning of the plan, of the two week plan. Some of you, for, I talked about the two week plan uh, a couple weeks ago, and I haven't really spoken on it since, but this is the day, the day after this is when it actually kicks off. So, I'm, of course, I'm going to go into details about what the two-week plan is about, what I'm going to be doing during those two weeks, because um, it's going to be hectic. From October 16th until October 29th, it's going to be very, very hectic for me. Um, the streams may slow down just slightly, but I'm going to record extra uh, videos off live stream to upload later on during that downtime so you guys can still have something to watch. But... The main focus, I'm, of course, I'm going to talk about all the games that I'm playing this week. Uh, a game that I've been very excited about, as you guys see the slides going, um, that I have uh, plans on buying tomorrow, as well as everything else. So, you guys really, really keep in tune. So, first things first, let me just talk about the games that I'm playing this week. If you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram, I received The Evil Within 2 and Middle Earth Shadow of War yesterday at the same time and you know i jumped right into the evil within two because i never played the evil within before I, di I didn't play the first game so i was more eager to play that game than uh than shadow of war because i did finish uh sh the previous game um uh shadow of mordor i finished that like about like a month or so ago so i, I am all cut up with that with, with that storyline so I was less eager to play the, uh, Shadow of War than I was the Evil Within 2 but of course I'm off Monday I'm off Wednesday excuse me Wednesday Thursday and Friday this week at my current job um, but I'm gonna get into that in a little bit I don't want to get too far ahead but yeah the Evil Within 2 will be played this week as well as I'm gonna begin Middle of Earth Shadow of War this week as well as uh, tomorrow, South Park, The Fractured But Whole comes out. Well, not tomorrow, but uh, but Tuesday. Um, the day after tomorrow, South Park, The Fractured But Whole comes out. And I'm going to pre-order uh, South Park, The Fractured But Whole. Because when you pre-order the game, then you get a free digital copy of South Park and The Stick of Truth. Which is a game that I always wanted to play, but I never really got around to actually getting it. So now, I mean, that's like a deal that's too good to pass up. So most definitely, I will be getting uh, both of those games tomorrow after I pre-order the Fractured But Whole. So that's something to look forward to. Um, Blue Reflection is a game that I, you know, this game that I've been playing very avidly this week. I didn't really think I was gonna like the game at first. I even announced on the channel update prior to Blue Reflection prior to me getting Blue Reflection was that I was going to um that I was uh oh and please forgive if you hear the background noise, there's people downstairs. Um I announced that Blue Reflection was gonna be one of those games that I didn't really plan on doing a full playthrough of. I said it was a Japanese import that, you know, didn't really uh you know get any major attention there was no advertisements about it it was just one of those games that was just kind of just there and i didn't pay it no mind i just got it on a whim so i figured uh, let me try it because i was getting tired of rpgs anyway but if i like it i'll do a full playthrough of it but if not i was gonna stop the playthrough immediately i'm already on chapter five in the game so i, I mean the game has captivated me like it's pulled me in I like it, you know, with everything that they offer in the game, um, it, it's a unique twist on a on a turn-based style RPG, and I like it, you know, it's fun. Um, so, most definitely you guys, will be, along with The Evil Within 2, Shadow of War, you will see more Blue Reflection. Um, South Park The Fracture But Whole, again, that comes out on Tuesday. I'm going to pre-order the game tomorrow. So that way I can get, you know, both that as well as the free digital copy of the Stick of Truth. And, you know, the plan is to place the plan is to play the Stick of Truth. The plan is to play Stick of Truth after um after I beat Fractured But Whole. 
just to try to catch up on the story as to where they were and to see if there's any like tie-ins between the two games um even though south park has never really been like that unless there was like a a little a little story arc but um yeah see, see just forgive the background noise you know you, you guys should be used to that by now but um but yeah so that's the games that i have lined up for this week now on to this two-week plan um as i announced a couple weeks ago i began a new job on october 16th which is tomorrow and for the sake of reference we're just going to call the new job job two we're going to call my current job job one now my remaining time at my current job at job one is going to be from october 16th to the 29th october 29th is going to be my last day at job one the current job but i kind of talked them into letting me work night shifts from 6 p.m to 10 p.m because that's really all i can afford to spare <laughs> uh, because i the main focus of these next two weeks are going to be very crucial because as you guys know i've been clamoring for, to getting a new gaming laptop for like the longest i've been needing one this current laptop just cannot handle the programs that i am trying to run like i can't run obs studio i can barely run league of legends on this thing um as well as several other programs that i've been trying to run and use for the benefit of the channel as well as your viewing pleasure i just haven't been able to capitalize on getting the best out of what i know i can offer you know what i mean like i this laptop can only do so much so i need a, a gaming laptop that's capable of handling you know everything that has updated graphics uh uh updated um well not updated graphics but like updated processors updated graphics cards updated hardware just overall everything that i need in order to get where i need to go with this channel and i cannot do that without you know first updating uh my hardware so the laptop is the main focus now there are several other things that are gonna, that are gonna be the focus now without me getting too far ahead because i already did with the laptop um i'm gonna be working from 6 to 10 at the current job that's from 6 p.m to 10 p.m now the new job is gonna have me working from 7 a.m to 4 p.m that's like from 7 in the morning to 4 p.m in the afternoon and i kind of talked to people at job one to let me work the remainder of my time there that they have me on schedule for on the days that I am scheduled to work from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So that would mean that I will be working from on the days that I'm working both jobs. I will be working from 7 p.m. in the morning and I won't be home till around like 10 30 at night. So that on the days that I got to work both jobs, then I'm completely out of it. Now, <clears throat> at the new job, I'm working there Monday through Friday and occasionally on Saturdays when they need to call me in for overtime, which, you know, it's something I can't really pass up with them. It's more so like that the overtime is kind of like mandatory. It's not really something you have an option of doing. So you got to come in. But then again, they make it worth your while. So there's, I'm, I'm not going to say how much more they're paying you, but I'm, I'm going to say that it's worth your while to go. Um, but I don't think you can get in trouble for not going. They just you know recommend that you go like i don't think it's mandatory but it's recommended that you go you know because they, they really making it work your wild and this is a warehouse job so they they make the things that the contractors get that goes to the homes and the other stores and things like that so it's very important that you know when you get called in for overtime they need to get these things um taken care of now on the the reason why I needed this job switch anyway is because my current job, job one, is such a roller coaster that I really didn't have time to do anything. It's like, you know, I'll be waking up at like some, some days they'll have me on schedule to come in at 12 p.m. like today. Other days they'll have me coming in at like 8 in the morning the very next day. And it's just, you know, it, it's those fluctuating hours because I was working part time at this current job. I'm working part time at this current job to the point where it's just like I can't really get a decent amount of sleep i can't even set the like i can't even plan out 
I can't even plan out, you know, okay, I'm making this much amount of money so I can go and do this later on. You know, like I, I, I can't plan things out the way I need to. It's just too chaotic. It's too roller coaster for me. So I can't really enjoy everything that I need to enjoy. With that being said, um, it's going to come in handy because with them granting my request of being able to work this 6 to 10 at job 1, I can work my 7 to 4 at my current job and then work from 6 to 10. And what this is going to do is that, you know, with me needing a new gaming laptop, which is going to cost me around like 1600 you know, there, there was one for $5,000 that I wanted to get, but there was also one for, 60, for 1600 that I that I wanted to get that wasn't going to cost me, you know, obviously it's way cheaper than 5000 but it's going to have all the hardware I need to run, updated everything, um, updated Windows uh, 10, updated graphics cards, updated, you know, I, I can basically run everything at a, at, at, a, at a high quality to where I can enjoy the visuals better as well as run the programs I need to run like OBS Studio, et cetera, et cetera, and not have a worry whether or not the, the computer is going to crash or any of that other nonsense that you would have to normally deal with so I'm very um, very much looking forward to these next two weeks now because of this um, the, the the laptop is the primary uh, objective get the laptop first get that out the way and everything else is gonna fall in place as you guys know I do plan on getting the PlayStation 4 Pro because it connects to 5 gigahertz internet and that's going way too deep into everything but basically it's going to make my upload speed faster and etc etc because I have a 5 gigahertz uh, connection as well as with the laptop I'll be able to do everything is going to be a lot better um, stream wise and connectivity wise is going to be less lag less everything is just going to be more enjoyable now I announced a couple weeks ago that I will be doing Nintendo 3DS playthroughs again because this is how my channel got started through Nintendo DS playthroughs and then I moved to the Nintendo 3DS playthroughs and I plan on doing Nintendo 3DS playthroughs again once I take care of the laptop and the PlayStation 4 Pro I will be investing money in getting a Nintendo 3DS that is capable of live streaming and you guys are gonna get Project Cross Zone 2 you guys are gonna get um, the, the, like all the all the latest fire all, all the latest um uh fire emblem games um i'm gonna do those playthroughs uh that was a game that that people have been asking me to play for the longest um it was a game called it was a game called uh um Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Um, dang, what was the name of that game? Uh, yeah, I can't think of the name of it. Um, I believe it was called like default something. Uh, um, bravely default. Like, was that the name of it? Yeah, I believe that was, that was the name of it. Um, that was a game that people like to. I was getting like comments underneath my video asking me, you know, are you gonna be playing this bravely default game? And they had a sequel called, uh, you know, <sighs> Bravely Default Second, <clears throat> that I plan on playing as well. So, the Nintendo 3DS has games that a lot of people wanted me to play. So, most definitely, you guys will be seeing those playthroughs, I would say, around the end of December, the beginning of 2018. Because I think that would be a good way to go into the new year by beginning... Nintendo 3DS playthroughs again. I think that's something to very much get excited about. Um, don't I'm gonna just say this now. Don't expect to see too many Pokemon playthroughs because I'm kind of tired of Pokemon. I'm kind of past that point in my life to where I care about Pokemon and things like that. So I'm not saying I won't do them. I'm just saying don't get your arms up because there's so much more 
that the Nintendo 3DS offers than besides, you know, like a Pokemon game, which we already know what to expect from one these days. But yeah, um, that's the two week plan. You know, it's going to stretch from October 16th to October 29th. And basically what this is going to do is help me get the gaming laptop a lot faster. Now, without this, you know, with me just quitting job one and just going straight to job two, it would take me, I would say, to like the middle of November to get the gaming laptop. By me working both jobs for the short period of time, uh, like the next two weeks, I should be able to get it around the end of October, around the beginning of November, around that time. So most definitely, I will be able to get the gaming laptop a lot faster, which means I can get everything else a lot quicker, hopefully before the year is over, and just make sure that I'm able to entertain you guys and keep up with the quality and just get to where I need to go and just get everything up to date, you know. So that's basically what that is. Yeah, please forgive that background noise. But yeah, this is that's the plan. Just to work my ass off these next two weeks, get the gaming laptop, and that's going to be the start of everything else is just going to have a domino effect after that. Everything's just going to fall into place. So the main objective is to get the gaming laptop and get everything situated with that and then move on to to everything else. So, so that's everything, man. Everything in under 20 minutes. So thank you guys for listening. Peace, and I look forward to everything just keep in mind that from october 16th to october 29th you know i'm time is going to be stretched you know i'm not saying that i'm not going to live stream here and there i'm gonna do it whenever i get the opportunity to but on the days that i am working both jobs within these next two weeks this week i'm off wednesday thursday and friday meaning after i work job one from seven to four i'm coming right home and i can start live streaming at around like 5 30 6 p.m you know, so, but on the days that I do have to work both jobs, I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, go to sleep early and wake up early. So I'm, I'm really going to have like little time to do anything, but I'm going to make up for it on the days that I do have off. So, of course, you guys can look forward to that. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. I hope you guys are ready for gameplay this week. I'm excited about South Park, the Fractured But Whole. I'm excited about, you know, playing uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. I'm excited to get deeper into Blue Reflection as well as The Evil Within 2 because this is a great lineup of games and it only gets better from here. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I will see you guys for gameplay this week. I hope you guys are ready because everything is going full throttle into these next two weeks. Getting a new gaming laptop, the PlayStation 4 Pro, a new Nintendo 3DS catching up on all the playthroughs that i missed that everybody's been wanting me to play so it's just gonna be a very very positive time to be a fan of this channel and a viewer of this channel because everything is going to turn up so i hope you guys are ready peace and i will see you guys for gameplay this week